Hey there guys, it's Joey, and even though I'm on a break, I really wanted to share my Imbol Coulter with you all because it's such a purely fun thing and positive thing that I really wanted to share it and talk about it and talk about some of the positive bits and pieces that have gone into it. This altar has been put together using a lot of things which dear friends have sent as gifts. There are things that have come to me myself and, and have meaning, but there are a few, quite a few bits and pieces from different people. Sort of, it's like a, f a friendship bond going through the Imbolc altar because in bulk is for purifying yourself, for embracing the spring, those new roots, those that growth and all the little bits and pieces from friends help with that energy. So I really wanted to share the in bulk altar because I love sharing the altars and I put a lot of effort into them and it, they bring me joy so I really wanted to share that. So we'll go around and we shall talk about it. Now as always we have the water spiral with the water elemental and the little crystals in a seashell. Uh, that was a seashell sent by Trina. And over here we have the earth spiral. These spiral candles, by the way, are, if you don't already know, from the fragranttemple.co.uk. She is a incredible crafter of these beeswax spirals and, and other bits and pieces and she's also a really lovely lady. I actually had this candle tailor-made because I wanted a water one and the other ones weren't quite watery and I asked her and she said we can make you one and she did. So in this corner is the earth one with the earth elemental, there he is, and the crystals and this incredible beautiful goddess labyrinth stone from Sharon and this really gorgeous sort of kidney bean shaped stone from Stephanie and we'll talk about the other bits and pieces as we go around we'll do the elements first and then we have the air elemental and the candle and the crystals and the little feathers <coughs> which are usually in the air corner two of them are swan and they're from Charlie and they are in the goddess offering bowl and they were all naturally found and then in the fire corner whoop, is the fire candle, the fire elemental, the fire crystals and over here it's kind of in the fire section but it is the little candle that Bay Moon sent his little ribbon is in my Yule box being saved but I really wanted to utilize this going forward because I thought the the imagery would be beautiful you know the, the nature and the fire which ties into the fires of in bulk beautifully and it's sort of in, it's sort of going forward with the bringing Yule into in bulk sort of thing if if that makes sense and <clears throat> over here we have my new moon, my wax new moon from Sharon and obviously this is sort of in the water corner with the water moon associations again sort of like that the the fire is there it's just slightly apart from but still part of so this one is slightly apart but still part of the water corner a gift from Sharon a beautiful incredible gift and it's to do with new beginnings which spring and in bulk is all about and the the new, you know the new moon which is today and going forward so there we go right so over in that this corner this is from my friend Linda and it is she gave it me at Halloween at Samhain and it's can you see the sparkles I think you can absolutely beautiful incredible little snowdrops snowdrops have had a lot of symbolism this year for me and others things that people have sent to me and things I've sent to others have had incredible significance and this is my Celtic Wheel of the Year, my Tree Wheel of the Year that my friend Hazel sent me. There's the Goddess 
triple goddess card which I'm pretty sure my sister sent me pretty sure <laughs> I know she sent me one I, I'm pretty sure she did and then this incredible um, Morrigan plaque which the spirit crystal is actually in the way I didn't actually mention the spirit crystal there's a spirit crystal in front of the Morrigan plaque which Sharon sent me it's the most beautiful thing in the world it's incredible and obviously down there we've got the um, dragon's eggs or zeo stones whichever you prefer as part of the spirit crystal wheel <laughs> And then at the front we have my Cauldron of Power on top of my Soapstone Triquetta and three Amethyst for Maiden, Mother and Crone. And if we scroll out a little, you can see we have the R, 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 It's technically a goddess oil incense burner. I don't use it. Incense burner? Oil burner. Brains. Brains. Zombie brains. Right. So... as it happens I need to turn her so I'm going to have to change that because Maiden needs to be there right there we go so there are three swan feathers Maiden Mother Crone on the oil incense burner, Maiden is facing forward. These three swan feathers were wildcrafted by my friend Hazel. She sent them. And they're gorgeous. And swan feathers, and the one here as well, of course, it's for Bridget. Or Brigitte, or however you pronounce it. There's apparently a whole metric tons of ways of pronouncing it. I found out all about this yesterday. And, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to move the toadstool. So the toadstool's at the front, and there's amethyst in there, and an amethyst there, and my amethyst spirit quartz here. And on top are the three orbs, which I bought all three myself, rose quartz, moonstone, and amethyst, all of which happen to be crystals for in bulk as well, but they are to do with my connecting with the goddess, if you like. And then we have a candle quartz at the front. I thought this was appropriate because... A, we li like lots of candles for in bulk. The modern Christianization was candlemas. So having the candle quartz seemed to make sense for me. And there we have a little offering bowl with some aquamarine in there, another crystal which is very potent to me right now and is good for in bulk. And I may do a, a holy video because I got a few bits and pieces and explain crystals and herbs and things because I needed some for restocking supplies and things so we might do that and then the, the points so then this is the god corner and the goddess corner so there we go so that is my imbolc altar full of love many blessings